experienced coach in Kevin Postelitzer. It's been a fascinating absorbing backdrop to this match. That is the end of the first half of extra time. No change to the score. We're still level at 1-1 as we were at half time in regular time.
in terms of retaining possession and tell me he's been a peripheral figure as this game's worn on. Has not seen much of the football whatsoever apart from that half chance he had in the second half. He's flushed to Litza. Keeps his calm. Gets it out to the equally experienced village. Nice work from Sparacino. Armson, one jack to the other. Now, Stewart over the top to Armson. They have combined so often throughout the season. Two top scorers for Ar Arpia. Not been able to produce. The ball that's hit the back of the net in this Waratah Cup final, like they have throughout the season, but maybe yet their time will come in penalties. Here's Billich. Plenty of space here for Devante Clue. Chance to get it out now to Lacalandra. Skew comes across. It's a one-on-one -on -one moment for the youngster. He misses it across, and it's Enzelmi who pops up with Shawley now. What would be the winning moment? It's early in the second period of extra time. But Patrick Enzelmi, who's produced many and many a big moment for Sydney United 58, comes up with a huge one there. And after suffering losses in their last two, Waratah Cup Finals, is that the moment that's going to seal it here? Up here, have absorbed and absorbed, but credit to Lacalandra and then tell me there. What's the young and the old, isn't it, Tony? Lacalandra creating the space on the right, he fizzed that ball into the near post, and tell me's work off the ball was so impressive, got in front of his defender, and all he needed was the slightest of touches, he got it, no chance for Nachevsky. And it was really Sydney United's first attack of the second period of extra time. It was a forceful one. And Patrick can tell me, I said a bit earlier, that he'd been a peripheral figure since half-time. Well, he pops up in the biggest moment of all to put Sydney United 58 ahead. Ten minutes to see out now for them, Tony, against the ten men of Arpia. We started to talk about penalties, but then tell me had other ideas. A player who's produced many, many a big moment for Sydney United 58. Has come up with a big one here. He scored 14 in the league and four in the Cups competitions. All four came in the first half of the semi final against the Inter Lions. A game that Sydney United 58 won six goals to one. And his Klutz influence growing again in the second period with Lacalandra. Lacalandra gets another chance here. The youngster does well. Tayside! What a composed finish! And the shot!